My name is Madeline Canal. I've been a part of broadcasting for three years. I am the executive producer and was the executive producer last year. I will be going to the University of South Dakota to study broadcast journalism. Hi, my name is Abby Holcomb and I've been a part of broadcasting for one year. Next year, I'm going to go to the University of South Dakota to study graphic design. Truth be told, I didn't want to take intro to journalism, but all the other classes were full, so they threw me into intro, and I didn't like it for, at first, I'm going to be completely honest, but over time I grew to like it, and I knew that the first staff I would want to be on was broadcasting, even though I got thrown on a yearbook for six days, but I grew to love broadcasting, and I knew I wanted to make a career out of it. I don't exactly know the reason why I joined journalism. I just know that my siblings were in it throughout high school and had a Pell and really liked him and the classes that he had taught them. So I decided that I would want to do the same thing as them because they had a lot of fun with it. So I thought that I might be able to have fun with journalism too. In the span of my four years here, I have done a lot of things that I would consider accomplishments. For instance, I interviewed the President Joe Biden and other presidential candidates. I put together this year's pep rally video. I created this year's girls basketball senior night video. Um, other things were filming football games, basketball games, wrestling meets. You name it, most likely I was filming those, and I wouldn't have changed that for anything else. Over the past four years, I've accomplished a lot. Not a lot in journalism, but through it I've helped with both yearbook and broadcasting. Yearbook, I helped finish up senior pages and all of that last year. And this year I've just helped with any stories that I could for broadcasting. And other than that, I've done dance team, swimming, tennis, band, color guard, and just other sports. I would say I've done so many stories that I can't even pick just one to consider my favorite. I love doing the segment that I did with Crystal Sheehan which was Crystal's Kitchen featuring Maddie because we had so much fun making the drinks and the food and joking around during those. And I'll never forget those moments. And I would say my second pick would definitely be when I went to go interview and film the presidential candidates coming to town inter and interviewing them and watching their rallies and all that. Those were so much fun, and I got to meet a lot of people during those experiences. My favorite story that I've done this year was probably the Easter episode, just because it was really fun to film, and Noah was just hilarious during the whole thing. You're the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You're the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the state of Iowa. With these rights in mind, are you still willing to talk to me about the charges against you? <laughs> The thing I'm going to miss the most about broadcasting is the people that I've become friends with. Definitely going to miss the room because it's felt like a second home to me and a place I can come to for comfort, whether I'm having a bad day or a bad week. And it just makes me happy every time I walk into this room. So I'm going to definitely miss the atmosphere and the people that I made friends with. And I'm definitely going to miss Appel because... I wouldn't be the person I am today without him and the people that I've made friends with in this room. What I'll miss most about journalism will be the people that are in it and the environment that it has. The thing journalism has taught me the most is definitely communication skills. Because when 
I first walked into AL, I wasn't much of a speaker. I didn't really speak in any of my classes. Neither did I really in intro. I wasn't much of a speaker. But then as definitely my sophomore year when I first started in broadcasting, I grew to have a voice and get better at my communication. And I learned to love that. And I realized that there are other people out there who have a voice and would love for it to be shared. So I chose journalism to give others the same voice that journalism has given me. And that's definitely something that journalism has taught me. And the second thing is that you can have a second family and definitely broadcasting gave me a second family. And I couldn't ask for a better second family, truth be told. Broadcasting has taught me to just go up to people and talk to them, whether it's interviewing them or just in general talking to them. This has been Abby Holcomb signing off for the first and last time for LPTV. This has been Madeline Canal signing off for the last time for LPTV. I'm gonna do that again. No, wait, I can't! <laughs> Foundation on your shirt. <laughs> 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 just, just use the bleach that we used freshman year. This, it's gotta be. In